Before we get to solving equations with inverse matri matrices, I want to review how to solve for x in a linear equation. In this problem, x is being multiplied by 4 fifths and 1 is being added to x. In order to solve for x, we need to undo those two things. To undo plus 1, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. Plus 1 minus 1 gives me 0, the additive identity, and when I add 4 fifths x plus the identity, whenever I add anything to the identity, I get that anything. So I'm left with just 4 fifths x. On the right side of the equation, 21 minus 1 is 20. Now at this point, most of you are used to just dividing both sides by 4 fifths but I want you to think of it differently. In order to get rid of this 4 fifths, I'm going to want to multiply by the inverse of 4 fifths. So what is the inverse of 4 fifths? In multiplication, the inverse is the reciprocal. So the inverse of 4 fifths is actually 5 fourths. So to get rid of 4 fifths times x, I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by the inverse. Now when I multiply by the inverse, I end up with 1. Any number times its inverse is the identity 1. And 1 times x is going to be x. So this 5 fourths times 4 fifths doesn't disappear. It really turns into 1, which turns into 1 times x, which turns into just x. And on the right side, I just need to do that math. 5 fourths times 20 is 5 fourths times 20 over 1. And I can take this 4 in my denominator and this 20 in my numerator and simplify. 4 goes into 4 one time, and 4 goes into 20 five times. 20 over 4 is 5 over 1. Now I can just take 5 times 5 and get 25 over 1 times 1. Let's apply that idea to problem number 2. If I want to solve for x, I need to undo the things that are happening to x. I'm going to have to undo being multiplied by this matrix and undo adding this matrix. Well, to get rid of this adding this matrix, I just need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract this matrix from both sides. When I subtract these two matrices, I end up with the identity matrix 0, 0, 0, 0. And whenever I add anything to the identity matrix 0, 0, 0, 0, I end up with that anything. In this case, this matrix times x. These two things don't undo each other. I get the identity, which then gives me what I have right here. On the right side of the equation, I need to do this math. Subtract corresponding entries. 9 minus negative 8 is 9 plus 8. Negative 3 minus negative 2 is negative 3 plus 2. 6 minus 6, 2 minus 1. Now to get rid of this matrix, normally I would just divide both sides by this matrix. But I don't have the division property, I don't have the operation division in the matrix world. Instead, I'm going to want to multiply by the inverse. Just like in problem number one, instead of dividing by four fifths, I want to multiply by the inverse. So the first thing I need to do is find the inverse of this matrix. 
I'm going to do that off to the side right here. Now there's a formula that I can use to find this inverse, or I can use my calculator. Enter this matrix into your calculator. So I have this matrix entered in as matrix A. I'm going to quit back to the home screen. And then I want to find the inverse of matrix A. So I'm going to put matrix A in the home screen. And then if I look at this button right here, x to the negative first power, that is my inverse button. I'm going to find the inverse of negative, or the inverse of matrix A. When I hit enter, there's my inverse. So to get rid of this matrix, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by that inverse. Notice that the matrix that I'm multiplying by is going to be on the left side of the right side. And since this is on the left side of this part, I'm going to put this on the left side of my right side. Kind of like I had 5 fourths on the left and 5 fourths on the left. I'm going to do the same thing here. I have to have my inverse matrix on the left of my left side and on the left of my right side. Now these two are inverses of each other. So when I multiply two matrices that are inverses of each other, I'll get the identity matrix. And the identity matrix times x will just give me x. On the right side, I have a 2 by 2 matrix times a 2 by 2 matrix. So I'm going to multiply rows by columns. rows times columns. Now I just need to do that math. Three plus negative five gives me negative two. Negative four plus seven gives me three. I can always check my answer by plugging this matrix into this equation and doing the order of operations and checking to make sure that I get this for an answer. Last example problem. I'm going to use this idea to solve a system of equations. I'm going to solve this system of equations by using inverse matrices. Step one, make sure that these equations are in standard form.
All my x's and my y's are on the left side of the equal sign, and all my answers are on the right side. Step one, convert this to a matrix equation. My matrix equation is going to look like this. I'm going to have a matrix of my coefficients, negative 3, 4, 2, negative 1. I'm going to have a matrix of my variables, x and y. And I'm going to set it equal to my answers. Now if you look at this, the way we perform matrix multiplication, this makes sense. If I take this row times this column, I'm going to have negative 3 times x plus 4 times y. And that's going to have to equal 5. That's my first equation. 2 times x plus negative 1 times y has to equal negative 10. That's my second equation. At this point, to solve for x and y, I need to undo what's happening to this matrix. So I need to undo being multiplied by this matrix. To undo being multiplied by this matrix, I'm going to multiply by the inverse. Off to the side, I'm going to find the inverse of this matrix. To find the inverse of this matrix, I'm going to use my calculator. Go to matrix, enter in that 2 by 2 matrix. Quit back to the home screen. Go back to the matrix menu. I want to use matrix A, and I want to find the inverse of that matrix. Hmm, got a whole bunch of decimals this time. I want to convert these decimals to fractions. To convert these decimals to fractions, I'm going to hit the math button. And the first choice in the math menu is triangle frac. Triangle means change to a fraction. So I'm going to take my previous answer and convert it to a fraction. So my inverse matrix is 1 fifth, 4 fifths, 2 fifths, 3 fifths. So to solve for xy, I'm going to take the left side of my equation. and multiply by the inverse. Notice that the inverse is on the left side of my left side. And on the right side of my equation, I'm going to also multiply by the inverse. Again, better change that to a 5. Again, I'm going to put the inverse matrix on the left side of the right side of my equation. Now these two matrices are inverses of each other, so when I multiply them, I should get the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. And the identity matrix times this matrix will just be this matrix. So my answer on the left side is going to be just x, y. And on the right side, I have a 2 by 2 matrix times a 2 by 1. These two numbers are the same, so I can perform this operation. The outside two numbers will give me the dimensions of my answer. So my answer is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So I'm going to take this row times this column. 1 fifth times 5 plus 4 fifths times negative 10.
my second entry is going to be this row times this column. Two-fifths times five plus three-fifths times negative ten. Let's do that math. One-fifth of five is one, and four-fifths times ten. I'm going to put ten over one, and five and ten can be reduced down to two and one. So I really have one plus negative eight. One plus negative eight is negative seven. Two-fifths times five is two, and three-fifths times ten. I'm going to put ten over one, and again I can reduce ten and five down to two and one. So I really have two plus negative six. Two plus negative six is negative four. So my final answer is x equals negative seven and y equals negative four. And I could always check this answer by plugging it back into my original equations.